Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics and today we will see dot convention in a magnetically coupled circuit. So earlier we had seen the self inductance and the mutual inductance in the electrical circuit. And in the mutual inductance we had seen that whenever the current I flows through one coil, it produces the voltage in the nearby coil. So whenever the current I flows through the one coil, the flux of a one coil gets coupled to the another coil. And this kind of circuits are known as a magnetically coupled circuit. And the voltage that is induced in the nearby coil can be given as V is equal to M d i1 dr by dt where M is the mutual inductance between the two coils. Now here the polarity of a voltage that is induced in the nearby coil depends upon the way the winding has been wound around the core. So let us understand this. So here we have one core and on this core the two windings have been wound. The one winding has been wound from the right to the left. Well, the second winding has been wound from the left to the right. Now whenever we apply voltage to this coil number 1, then the current I will flow through this coil. And using the right hand thumb rule, we can find the direction of the flux that is flowing through this coil number 1. So as the current is flowing in this direction, the direction of a flux will be in the downward direction. So the flux will flow in downward direction. Let us say this is the flux phi 1. Now if we apply voltage in the second coil then the current will flow in this direction. So using the right hand thumb rule we can find the direction of a flux in the coil number 2. So as the current is flowing in this way the direction of a flux will be in the upward direction. So the flux that is produced in the coil number 2 will flow in the upward direction. Now if the current I1 and I2 are flowing simultaneously then the flux which is produced by this coil 1 and 2 will be flow in these directions. So as you can see here these two fluxes are adding to each other. So the voltage that is generated by the mutual coupling between the two coils will be the positive. So let us say V21 is the voltage that is developed because of the current that is flowing in this coil number 1. So this V21 can be given as M d i1 dr by dt and the polarity of this voltage will be the positive. Similarly, let us say the V12 is the voltage that is induced in the coil number 1 because of the current that is flowing in the coil number 2. And the value of this voltage can be given as m d i2 dr by dt and here the both the voltage will be the positive. Now if we also include the self induced emf then the expression for the voltage v1 will be the l1 d i1 dr by dt plus m into d i2 dr by dt. Now here the first term represents the self induced EMF in the coil number 1 while the second term represents the induced EMF due to the coil number 2. Similarly the voltage V2 can be represented by a L2 into d i2 dr by dt plus m into d i1 dr by dt. So here also similarly the first term represents the self induced EMF in the coil number 2 while the second term represents the voltage that is induced due to the mutual coupling. Now let's see what happens when we change the direction of any of the one winding. So here we have kept the winding 1 as it is but we have changed the direction of a winding in the coil number 2. So now if we apply voltage in the coil number 1 then current will flow in this way. The flux which will be produced due to this flow of current will be in the downward direction. Now let us apply voltage in the coil number 2. So the current will flow in this direction. So now as we have changed the direction of a winding the flux that has been generated will be flow in the opposite direction. That can be found using the right hand thumb rule. So here as the current is flowing in this direction the induced flux will flow in downward direction. So now if we apply this current I1 and I2 simultaneously the flux which is produced by these coils will flow in these directions. So as you can see here the direction of this flux phi 1 and phi 2 are opposite. So they will cut each other. So the induced voltage in the coils due to the mutual coupling will be the negative. So let us say V21 is the voltage that is induced in the coil 2 due to the current that is flowing in the coil number 1. And it can be given by equation minus m d i1 dr by dt. 
Similarly, let us say V12 is the voltage that is induced in the coil 1 due to the current that is flowing in this coil number 2. And it can be given by equation minus M di to dr by dt where M is the mutual inductance between these two coils. So here as you can see the polarity of a induced voltage is a negative. So now if we include the self-induced EMF then we can write the expression for the V1 as L1 di1 by dt minus M di2 dr by dt where here the first term represents the self-induced EMF of the coil while the second term represents the induced EMF due to the mutual coupling. Similarly, the expression for V2 can be given as L2 di2 dr by dt minus m di1 dr by dt. So as you can see here, the polarity of an induced voltage depends upon the way the winding has been wound around the core. So every time if you want to find the polarity of this voltage, you will first need to check the direction of these windings and then you need to see the direction of the flux. So this is very lengthy process. So to eliminate this process and make a life simpler, we use a dot convention. So in the dot convention, we used to put a dot on the either side of the coil and we put this dot on the all the coils which are coupled together. Now depending on the current which is entering or leaving the dot, we used to determine the polarity of an induced voltage due to this mutual coupling. So let us understand this dot convention. So if two currents are entering or leaving the dot at the same time, then the voltage that is generated due to the mutual coupling will be the positive. So here let us take the first example that we had already seen. So in the first example we had seen that the flux which are generated due to these coils are adding together. So the induced voltage due to the mutual coupling is a positive. So in that example if we simply put a dot on the these two sides of the coil then by using the dot convention we can easily find the polarity of a induced voltage. So as you can see here the current I1 and I2 are entering the dots. So the induced voltage due to the mutual inductance will be the positive. Or in the same example, if we put a dot on the other side of the coil, then also you can see here that the current is leaving the dots in the same time. So the induced voltage in the both the coils are positives. Also one more thing about the dot is that whatever polarity of voltage that appears across the dotted terminal, the same polarity of voltage will appear at the other side of the dotted terminal. So here as you can see here in the dotted terminal the polarity of a voltage is negative. So on the other side also at the dotted terminal the polarity of the voltage will remain the negative. So even if you don't know the value of this current I1 and I2 or a direction of this current I1 and I2 then also you can find the polar polarity of an induced voltage. Now let's see what happens when one current is entering the dot and another current is leaving the dot. So if one current is entering the dot and another current is leaving the dot then the generator voltage due to the mutual coupling will be the negative. So here we have taken the second example. So in the second example we had seen that the flux phi1 and phi2 are cutting to each other. So the value of the induced voltage due to the mutual coupling is negative. So in this winding suppose we had given a dot at these two points then just by applying the dot convention we can easily find the polarity of an induced voltage. So as you can see here, the one current is leaving the dot while in the another current is entering the dot. So the voltage that is generated due to the mutual coupling will be the negative. So in this way using the dot convention we can easily find the polarity of an induced voltage. So schematically we can represent this windings by a simple symbol of an inductor. So we can represent this windings by a, this symbol. And here the line between the two coils represents that the winding has been wound on the same core. So in this way using the dot convention the direction of winding as well as the polarity of an induced voltage has been taken care of. So now suppose if you have given this schematic then using the dot convention we can easily find the polarity of the induced voltage. So as you can see here the current I1 and I2 are entering the dots. So the voltage that is induced due to the mutual coupling will be the positive. So let us say the voltage V1 is the voltage across this coil number 1 and voltage V2 is the voltage that is across this coil number 2. So we can write the expression for V1 as L1 di1 by dt plus m di2 by dt where L1 is the self inductance of this coil and m is the mutual inductance between the these two coils. Similarly the expression for V2 will be the 
एल टू इंटू डी आई टू बाई डी टी प्लस एम डी आई वन डी एड बाई डी टी वेर एल टू इज द सेल्फ इंडक्टेंस ऑफ दिस क्वाइल एंड एम इज द म्यूचुअल इंडक्टेंस बिटवीन दीज टू क्वाइल्स नाउ द सेम एक्सप्रेशन इज वैलिड फॉर द सेकेंड स्कीमेटिक एज इन द सेकेंड स्कीमेटिक इफ यू कैन सी द करंट आई वन एंड आई टू आर लिविंग द डॉट एट द सेम टाइम नाउ इफ यू सी हियर द थर्ड स्कीमेटिक द थर्ड स्कीमेटिक द करंट आई वन इज लिविंग द डॉट वाइल करंट आई टू इज एंटरिंग द डॉट सो द वोल्टेज दैट इज इंड्यूस ड्यू टू द म्यूचुअल कपलिंग विल बी द नेगेटिव सो लेटेस से दैट हियर द वोल्टेज अक्रॉस दिस क्वाल इज वी वन एंड द वोल्टेज अक्रॉस द सेकेंड क्वाल इज वी टू सो हियर द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर वी वन विल बी द एल वन डी आई वन बाई डी टी माइनस एम इन टू डी आई टू डी आर बाई डी टी सिमिलरली द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर वी टू विल बी द वी टू इज इक्वल टू एल टू डी आई टू बाई डी टी माइनस एम डी आई वन डी आर बाई डी टी वेर एम इज द म्यूचुअल इंडक्टेंस बिटवीन द क्वाइल वन एंड टू नाउ द सेम एक्सप्रेशन इज वैलिड फॉर द सेकेंड स्कीमेटिक सो हियर इन दिस स्कीमेटिक इफ यू सी द करंट आई वन इज एंटरिंग द डॉट वेल करंट आई टू इज लिविंग द डॉट सो द वैल्यू ऑफ द वोल्टेज ड्यू टू द म्यूचुअल कपलिंग विल बी द नेगेटिव सो नाउ लेट एस सी द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द क्वाइल्स विच आर म्यूचुअली कपल्ड एंड आर कनेक्टेड इन अ सीरीज सो हियर एज यू कैन सी द टू क्वाइल्स आर कनेक्टेड इन अ सीरीज द एल वन एंड एल टू आर द इंडक्टेंस ऑफ दिस टू क्वाइल्स एंड द म्यूचुअल इंडक्टेंस बिटवीन द टू क्वाइल्स इज द एम सो इफ यू सी हियर द करंट आई इज एंटरिंग द डॉट इन द फर्स्ट क्वाइल द सेम करंट आई इज फ्लोइंग इन दिस क्वाइल नंबर टू एंड इट इज एंटरिंग द डॉट इन दिस क्वाइल नंबर टू सो द फ्लॉक्स दैट इज जनरेटेड ड्यू टू दिस क्वाइल वन एंड टू विल बी द एडिटिव सो दिस काइंड ऑफ सीरीज कॉम्बिनेशन इज नोन एज अ सीरीज एडिंग कनेक्शन इन द वैल्यू ऑफ द इक्वेलेंट इंडक्टेंस विल बी द एल वन प्लस एल टू प्लस टू एम सिमिलरली इफ यू पुट अ डॉट फ्रॉम वन एंड टू द अनदर एंड ऑफ द क्वाइल देन ऑल्सो द सेम एक्सप्रेशन इज वैलिड एज यू कैन सी हियर द करंट आई इज लिविंग द डॉट इन द बोथ द क्वाइल्स सो दिस इज द ऑल्सो अ सीरीज एडिंग कनेक्शन एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ द इक्वेलेंट इंडक्टेंस विल बी द एल वन प्लस एल टू प्लस टू एम नाउ लेट एस सी द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द इक्वेलेंट इंडक्टेंस वेन वन डॉट इज एट वन एंड ऑफ द क्वाइल एंड अनदर डॉट इज एट अनदर एंड ऑफ द क्वाइल सो इफ यू सी हियर द करंट आई इज एंटरिंग द डॉट इन वन क्वाइल वेर इट इज लिविंग द डॉट इन द अनदर क्वाइल सो दिस काइंड ऑफ सीरीज कनेक्शन इज नोन एज अ सीरीज अपोजिंग कनेक्शन एज द फ्लक्स इन द बोथ द क्वाइल्स आर कटिंग ईच अदर सो द वैल्यू ऑफ द इक्वेलेंट इंडक्टेंस कैन बी गिवन एज एल वन प्लस एल टू माइनस टू एम सिमिलरली दिस कंफ्रिकेशन इज ऑल्सो अ सीरीज अपोजिंग कनेक्शन बिकॉज हियर ऑल्सो द करंट आई इज लिविंग द डॉट इन वन क्वाइल वेल इट इज एंटरिंग द डॉट इन द अनदर क्वाइल सो दिस इज ऑल्सो अ सीरीज अपोजिंग कनेक्शन इन द वैल्यू ऑफ द इक्वेलेंट इंडक्टेंस विल बी द एल वन प्लस एल टू माइनस टू एम सो नाउ लेट एस सी द म्यूचुअल कपल्ड क्वाइल्स विच आर कनेक्टेड इन अ पैरल सो हेयर वी हैव अ टू क्वाइल्स विच आर कनेक्टेड इन अ पैरल सो लेट एस से द करंट आई इज एंटरिंग दिस क्वाइल एंड आउट ऑफ दिस करंट आई द करंट आई वन इज फ्लोइंग थ्रू दिस क्वाइल नंबर वन एंड करंट आई टू इज फ्लोइंग थ्रू दिस क्वाइल नंबर टू सो हियर एज यू कैन सी द करंट आई वन एंड आई टू आर एंटरिंग द डॉट्स सो दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ पैरल एडिंग कनेक्शन and their equivalent inductance can be given as l1 at m2 minus m square divided by l1 plus l2 minus 2m and the same expression is valid when the dots are put at the bottom of the two coils so let us say the current i is flowing in this circuit the current i1 is flowing through this coil number 1 and current i2 is flowing through this coil number 2 so here also the current is leaving the dot at the same time so this is also a example of a parallel adding connection and the value of the equivalent inductance can be given by this expression so now let us see the value of a equivalent inductance when a two coils are connected in a parallel opposing connection so here let us say the current i is entering into this circuit out of this current i the current i1 is flowing through this coil number 1 and current i2 is flowing through this coil number 2 so as you can see here the current i1 is entering the dot while current i2 is leaving the dot so this is the example of a parallel opposing connection as the flux in the both the coils are cutting each other and the value of a equivalent inductance can be given by this expression that is l1 l2 minus m square divided by l1 plus l2 plus 2m 
So if you want me to derive the expression for the series and parallel combinations, then please let me know in the comment section below. So so far we had seen that only two coils are coupled together. Now let us see if more than two coils are coupled to each other. So here as you can see, we have a three coils one, two and three, which are mutually coupled to each other. Now to represent the mutual coupling between the each other, we need to use a different dot symbols. So now let us say these two dots represents the mutual coupling between the one and two. While the square dots represents the mutual coupling between the coil one and three. And the triangular dot represents the mutual coupling between the coil number two and three. So in this way, if more than two coils which are mutually coupled to each other are connected together, then using these different dot symbols, we can represent the mutual coupling between them. So I hope you understood what is dot convention in a magnetically coupled circuit. We will see the more example based on this dot convention in the upcoming videos. If you have any question or suggestion, please let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such videos.